Hello Internet, my name is Vazarov. I'm going to be playing some FTL, uh, Faster Than Light, and I've been playing this game for quite a while. Uh, I got it when it first came out. Um, I watched uh, Total Biscuits, WTF is. I didn't really think it was my thing. He convinced me pretty quickly that maybe I should give it a try, and I haven't looked back since, and this game is pretty freaking awesome. Uh, let's see. I think I have a couple of ships unlocked here, as you can see. Uh, still a couple more missing, hoping to pick those up pretty soon. This one you unlock for beating the game. I know a lot of people that I know on the internet and my friends list and everything else, they pretty much just rush through on easy mode to go unlock this ship. And I know I guess I could if I wanted, but I've never played easy mode in this game and I'd rather not start now. I really think that's kind of a cop-out to just do it for the ship only. Um, maybe someday if I get really bored of the game and I really want this ship and I just can't beat that stupid last boss because it's freaking hard, believe me. Maybe I'll, I'll run through an easy, but I'm just going to leave it locked for now. And then obviously the unidentified crystal cruiser is going to be a pain in the ass. But anyway, I think today we're going to play some stealth cruiser. Uh, I think this is a relatively strange ship to work with. Uh, Nessacio, I guess it's called here. Uh, I only have the type A loadout. Uh, I got B's for most of them. You can see it changes the color and the the loadout and the equipment and everything else. It's a, it's really a whole different playstyle. Like this one's uh, ion blast with drones, and then this one's just drones forever with lasers and crap. But anyway, so I don't have the B. I'm hoping to unlock it pretty soon. Uh, I've got to in order to unlock the next layouts, you have to get two of these three achievements here. Two of the three, as you can see here. And uh, I think the stealth cruiser's kind of got some hard ones. So you got to destroy a ship at full health during a single cloak in the stealth cruiser. That's not that wouldn't be that hard. But you kind of got to get lucky. Uh, maybe get some extra weapons and some stealth weapon uh, augment over here. With the stealth cruiser, avoid nine points of damage during a single cloak. Um, that's doable, but again, kind of a random chance sort of thing. Because you have to cloak while those nine points of damage, whether it's from a laser or a missile or a drone shot, I guess, are in the air and flying at you. And then you have to actually have every single one miss. So maybe I can pick that one up. With the stealth cruiser, get to sector 8 without jumping to a beacon with an environmental danger. This one is easier than it would be with other ships due to the long range scanners. Uh, these allow you to see if you're jumping into an asteroid field or a sun, which. Asteroid field's not so bad. Suns? Suns fucking suck. They pretty much always kill me. Or at least make my life suck for a while if they don't kill me outright. But uh, you can avoid them with the long range scanners here that will show up on the map. The tricky part of this one is get to Sector 8, because the stealth ship kind of has some problems. I'll explain that in a second. Alright, let's see. Nessacio. Let's see here. The... Gonna die. Perfect. Alright. Now we've got... Ki... Heng... Sai... Heng... Ki... I don't know how to pronounce this. Who cares? Alright, let's get started. Start. Uh, data you carry the vitals. If you haven't seen FTL before, here's the plot. You basically got some stuff, and you're running from these rebels, and you got info, and you gotta bring it to the fleet. And you're being chased. Uh, you'll see in a second. Anyway, okay, so stealth ship. Let's see, I got these three guys. If you might notice, there are no shields here. There's no shields here. There's no shields here. There's no shields here. This is the tricky thing about the stealth ship. Now, I do have the stealth um, module already installed, which is nice. But this thing is kind of a bitch to get used to. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the two guys on the two stations that can be manned. We got guns, we got thrusters, we got a pilot. Now, the nice thing about the ship... Let me turn on my lasers and my... Uh, well, just lasers, I suppose. And put the rest of the power into the engine. Now, you got a 25 native uh, dodge chance. And then I can take power out of here, because who needs it for the med bay, right? Um, boost up to a 30. I think that's the highest of any ship. So you do have your dodge chance to rely on, even though you have no shields. And obviously the stealth thing is going to come in a lot of handy. So let's go ahead and get started here. Also, you have level 2 sensors, which is a nice little addition. Now, the thing about the stealth ship that I found is you kind of have to get lucky in the first few jumps. You really aren't equipped to take on ships until you at least have some sort of upgrade. 
Let's see, you find a source of distress call, distress call even, a small research station. It appears a small laboratory fire got out of control and is threatening to destroy the station. Their fire suppression system is not responding. Now, if I had a rock crew member, which are the big golem guys, they're immune to fire. You could just walk in and just kick ass and take names without, on that fire and just screw it up and save everybody. But, uh, I don't got one of those. I just got humans, born old humans. So what I usually do here is I dock and try to rescue them. Uh, da -da -da -da. Basically, I went up there, and the ship blew up, and I didn't save anybody. Uh, yeah, you watch helplessly as the last of the survivors are consumed in the collapse of the station. Perfect. Now what happened is they took some damage, but I do get a little bit of scrap. It's not too bad, I guess. Next one. Now, see right here. There's a ship here. or probably a ship here. I don't think there's ever not been a ship here, but it says possible. I'm going to avoid that for now. I'm going to hope to get one of the good uh, rolls on this random number generator here where I don't have to fight anyone. Da -da -da. Warning quarantine level 5. Basically nothing. Okay. Let's avoid that ship and go here. You come out and see laser blast. So I come on in a fight. I'm going to help the civilian ship because I need to get some scrap somehow. This is a good way of anything to get it, I suppose. Now he's got a missile and some sort of laser. So what I'm going to want to do is keep an eye on his weapons. He shot the laser. That laser's coming in. I have a decision to make. Do I, do I cloak now? I think I do. Now watch this. 30 evade. Goes up to 90 evade. And the laser misses. misses. Now unfortunately you can't quite shoot out of cloak without disrupting it. But uh, here's what I'm going to try to do. Shoot this. Drag this mini beam. This is my number one weapon. It's a tiny little beam. Look at this thing. Freaking tiny. Uh, you can drag it across the ship anywhere you want. Uh, any room it hits, it'll do damage to. So we're going to do one of these. Perfect. Now if you notice, his missiles just went into the ship here. They're now deactivated. Uh, this missile, or this laser, is left. But honestly, I'm a little bit less worried about the laser than I am with the missile. So he's going to hit me with that. Nope, he missed. So my 30% dodge chance just came and saved me. So I'm going to try to... Oop, started the fire. Excellent. I'm going to try to keep his weapon system down. Uh, he did repair his shield, which kind of sucks because my mini ba beam is worthless against any sort of shields whatsoever. But this uh, dual laser will take them down pretty quickly. Drag some more. Now if you're really crafty, you can take that tiny little beam and drag it across one, two, three, four rooms. Here, and then here. One, two, three, four. And there we go, we got the kill. It's pretty hard to find a ship that can you can do four damage to consistently. Uh, usually you can shoot for about three if you get the corners. Um, the ships you really want to fight are the ones where you can hit the weapons and the shields at the same time. That's like optimal. Your crew is, ship was badly damaged. Most of the crew accepts your offer. One offers to join your crew. Sweet. Survivor gets on board the ship. Cubbin the Praying Mantis. Excellent. Alright, so this guy's gonna be useful if anybody jumps on my ship. Praying Mantises can get all fucking bug on their ass and slice them and dice them, I suppose. But, uh, he doesn't really have anything to do right now because there's no shields and everything else is taken care of. So he can just hang out here. Now, let's go ahead and jump up here and avoid another confrontation. Luckily, I got out of that one without taking any damage, but that's pretty rare. Nothing. Alright, next one. Let's avoid one more time. What do we got? Explore the asteroid field. Oh. Now see, I want to take this one, but if a certain event procs out of this, it'll actually send me to an asteroid field, and I think that's going to ruin my chances to get that achievement of getting to Sector 8 without hitting a, uh, an asteroid field or a sun or an ion storm. But I'll take the risk. <sighs> okay, well I took some damage. It's not really a big deal, I guess. Alright, uh, let's go ahead... Okay, see, this is important to note. This has screwed me up more times than I'd like to admit. This exit can only be jumped to from right here. You can't jump to it from here to here. For a long time, I didn't have this uh, little dotted line turned on for when I hover over a system. And I would get myself stuck in a dead end like this, and then this giant wave of death would catch up to me and I'd just be screwed. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is, in order to try to get some extra scrap, I'm going to fight right here first. 
I'm gonna try to not trap myself and die. Da -da -da -da, okay. Combat mode engage. Now he's only got one weapon, so this is gonna be pretty easy, honestly. I'll just wait here with my finger here. Boop. 90% dodge. Shoot the weapons. Drag the beam across. Let's see if I can get all four. And at this point, he's basically screwed, and I'm, I've won, essentially. He does have this boarding drone, and honestly, that would kind of screw me up if he actually managed to use it, but... I guess he's low on power, just stupid. Okay, now the, they're requesting uh, me to spare them. Only ten scrap, though, man. Nope. Goodbye. Eleven scrap, hell yeah. <laughs> so I got one extra scrap, but pretty much got all the same stuff, so whatever. They're all filthy rebels anyway, right? Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and jump down here. Hopefully this will get me some good stuff. Oh, he's trying to run. We can't have that, can we? Charge in the weapons. In case you couldn't tell, that's right there. Perfect, so he just shot an ion and a missile. This is the opportune time to go ahead and go invisible. Miss, miss. Now we gotta stop him from taking off. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot his piloting system. And then also, for good measure, disable his missiles. Now he is hopefully stranded and detoothed. He can stun me with that all he wants. He's not doing any damage. I don't care. Alright, now he's really stunned, so I definitely don't have to worry about him getting away. Let's just clean up at this point. No, he missed again! Ah, one left? Okay. And we got the blazers for the finish. Perfect. So this is actually going pretty well. I thought I'd have to restart two or three times with this uh, stealth cruiser before I got off the ground, uh, before leaving Sector 1. But it seems to be going alright. Now, of course, I'm about to be completely massacred by whatever's in this next sector, now that I've said that. Hmm. Probably not. We'll see. He does have missiles and lasers. Which is a combo I don't like. Come on, shoot! Ah, I wanted to shoot that missile! Oh, no! Shit, okay. What happened is he hit my stealth. Okay, whew, I lucked out. So, I disabled his missile, so at the very least I'm not going to get missiles as well. I don't really need you here. Oh my god, okay. Remember how I was overconfident and everything? Yeah, he's kind of screwing me up here. So I got a breach, my weapons are down, they're repairing them. Okay, luckily stealth is back up. Let's go ahead and jump over here. Go invisible for a second. Oh, shit. Invisibility did not save me. Took the damage anyway. Wasted it, basically. Missile's gonna be flying out any second now. Repairing the weapons. Come on, man, you can do it! Alright. Shit. Oh my god. Oh, and now he bombed my engines. Excellent. Okay. I guess he doesn't have any missiles or something. I don't know. Okay, so I got a fire, so what I'm gonna do is vent that fire out in space. Deprive it of that delicious oxygen it requires. Try to fix this frickin' propulsion system here. Fuck. Okay. Got my lasers. Drop their shields. Drag this right across. See, the downside to Mantis is, is uh, they don't repair so good. So I don't think I want to send him into an o O2 list room and just have him suffocate. Also, the fires are out, so I'm going to go ahead and close the doors. Uh, here we go. Okay, luckily it seems to be under control at this point. Uh. Look how close I got though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 hull points left. I really hope there's a shop on the other side of this gate. Uh, why not throw everybody on this? 
One thing that took me a while to notice is these this yellow outline is how you can determine if a room is oxygen deprived or not. Okay, so they got everything fixed up, but uh, they're all kind of suffocating. This a quick trip to the med bay will take care of that. Now, see, my ultimate goal here is I'm saving up uh, 150 scrap because at that point, if I hit up a store and they're selling uh, systems, these are all systems, I can buy some shields. And that's basically going to be a requirement to get any sort of progress in this game. You can go, you can do all right sometimes with this dodge and cloaking only, but you're going to need shields eventually. There's really no getting around it. And they cost 150. So I got some scrap and a drone, whatever. Next sector. Let's go ahead and hit up the rock controlled sector. I think I need to hit up a, a rock home world, and then there's a chance I can get that rock cruiser, which would be excellent. But this is not a home world. Alright, let's get a jump in. Um, okay, so there's a store. Might as well hit it up. Zoltan trading. Alright, 42. Yeah, I, I need to repair. Now, I have this drone. And I don't care about it, so I'm going to go ahead and sell it. That leaves me with 63. Let's see. This one fires two shots per charge. Charge time 11 seconds, 2 power. Halberd beam. Halberd beams are pretty freaking awesome. I think... Oh, crap. Well... Okay, here's what we're going to do. This might be a terrible mistake. Alright, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to buy this burst laser. And uh, I'm going to buy a little bit of fuel for good measure. I'm going to completely disregard that I was saving up for a shield system. And uh, we're going to jump and go slaughter some rebels, hopefully. Take their wrecked remains of their ship. Mantis? Sure, we'll fight a mantis. Usually they board you, but I guess I'm early enough in the game that uh, I don't have to worry about it yet. Let's go ahead and shoot. I was hoping to fire off all my weapons before I had used my stealth. But oh well. Okay, so we shot another missile. Let's go ahead and stealth now. So I gotta get that 90. Miss. Perfect. Still got his missiles up, which I don't like. Probably gonna take one of those. Yep. Ah, oh, right in the O2, of course. Mantis is dying over here. Good. Man. Okay, 17 scrap. Let's get you Phillips on this, and you can help him out and sigh. Stealth. Yeah, the Mantis sucks at repairing, but hopefully maybe if I can get him some repairing uh, experience, will be somewhat useful. He's pretty much just good at being a crazy bug and slaughtering people. Alright, let's go. Um, now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to stay in every sector for basically as long as possible. Slavers, you always attack the slaver scum. And hopefully I'll be able to show you why in a second. But uh, I'm trying to stay in every sector as long as possible. Uh, basically sector grinding. What that does is it allows you to uh, level up. By level up I mean gain more scrap. And put it in your ship or upgrades or whatever. Uh, as much as you can. Because you need to really be at the top of your game when you go to the end boss. I probably... He's hard, let me put it that way. Uh, I've gone up against him quite a few times. take out those shields. Oh, he's still got shields. Some of the NPC ships seems like they uh, have extra uh, energy just sitting around in their systems that they don't even use. Because if he was using this full shield energy, that would have taken it down. Which 
drag this laser across, take out... Okay, well, they didn't even... I got 30 scrap, not bad. Normally what slavers will do is right as you're about to take them out, they'll offer you a slave in return for letting them live. And I pretty much always take that deal because having more people on the ship is great. They can run around and repair things or whatever. Oh god, the alien event. I hate the alien event. Sorry, spider event. Number of ships were being overrun by giant alien spiders. My options are send my crew or do nothing. I'm gonna do nothing because honestly I've sent my crew plenty of times and uh, they very rarely make it back. I almost always lose a guy to those stupid spiders and I don't get anything to show for it. Uh, let's see, this is a mercenary event. Uh, they asked, they can make the rebels in the sector, which is that giant wave on the left, slow down. They can scout the sector to find all the shops and events and stuff for you. But I don't really care about any of those, so I'm just going to go ahead and blow them the hell up. I've never really found the delay of the rebels to be all that useful. I mean, I pretty much hit up as many sectors as I want to anyway. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Beam weapons are really the problem you have to watch out for when it comes to the stealth cruiser. Since the only thing that really helps against beam weapons is your shields, and I ain't got any of those, they pretty much have free reign all over you. Which is not an ideal situation. Luckily, the AI is pretty terrible aiming it, and if you notice, he went from here to here, which is not even part of my ship. So, good on for that. Now, I could jump away if I want, but uh, I got this guy in the ropes. And now he's on fire. And he's dead. Let him explode. Let's see, 22 scrap. Come on, Mantis. Oh, there he goes. Uh, let's hit... Let's try going to... Just distress. Half the time distress beacons are traps, but we'll see. Search for the ship. Ooh, okay. This is the event that will lead me to the crystal ship, if I do everything correctly. Perfect. Alright, now you'll see, right here, Sorry, right here, I've got a stasis pod. Now, if I'm very lucky, I can take this to a Zoltan world, and I can turn this into a crystal golem man. And at that point, he's going to join my crew. I've actually gotten him once before. And he's going to say, hey, take me to a rock home world, and we'll go to this big old warp gate, and we'll go to my home zone or something. And, uh... Basically, a bunch of stuff happens that culminates with me unlocking a sweet crystal ship, which is probably the rarest ship in the game. Let's see. Uncharted Nebula's Rebel. Hmm. 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 Okay, what I'm trying to figure out here is I need to see, I need to make sure I can find a Zoltan world, a rock home world, so I can get this crystal ship. I think the Zoltans show up as green civilians and the rocks show up as reds. So I think I'm going to go ahead... I'm just going to go here. I can make the decision later, I guess. I know they're not in the nebula, I'm pretty sure, so... Alright. Keep on jumping. I'm getting close to 150. This is probably a trap, but I'm going to jump anyway. Yep, trap. Oh shit, this is a kind of a beefy ass ship too. Oh boy, okay, I'm probably going to try to run away from this. Ah, crap, okay. The deal here is this green shield is like a super shield. And uh... Dodge it. Yes. Is that the is that the achievement? No. Okay. This green shield is a super shield, and it's gonna screw me up quite a bit. All right. So the green shield's down. Now it's regular shields, but he's got two of them. That's kind of a problem. Okay. 
disabled one weapon, but I've taken heavy damage. I've gotta wait for all my weapons to recharge to even hope to do a dent against this guy. So what basically what I have to do is I have to hit him with two lasers here. Zap zap. That takes his shields down. Now my beam is ready to go. I can beam across. Okay, these guys are hard. I don't even want to fight them anymore, so yeah, sure. Good. I'll take that surrender. <laughs> they probably could have maybe not beaten me, but they would have freaking messed me up some more, man. Alright, let's see. Now, I don't really want to fight the fire. I guess I'll go fight the fire. I've repaired my doors. I'm going to see if I can get this uh, worked out here. There's a hole in my ship, if you didn't notice. And I don't mean this one. That one's supposed to be there. So now we're just in the standard damage control phase. Get everybody healed up. Go back to the pilot seat. Go back to your weapons and engineering and go here. Now one thing I really wish you could do I hope they maybe add in a patch or something, is I want to actually be able to like assign this guy as the pilot. I mean, he's already the pilot because he's got good uh, piloting skills. But I want to be able to like click right-click or some, some junk like that and be like, you are the pilot, you are the gunner, you are the whatever. And then maybe there's just a button that says battle stations, and it just dis disseminates everybody back from wherever they may be to their respective stations. I think that'd be real nice. Maybe if you could set up a uh, somebody on repair duty, they just run around and automatically repair stuff. Hoping maybe we can get that kind of functionality in the future, DLC or regular patch or something. All right, everybody's ready to go. Oh, I'm so close to that 150. All right, I may be able to get it before I leave this sector. I'm also getting low on fuel, which sucks. Oh, this guy's got cloaking too. What a jerk. Pretty much what we do is we sit here. He's cloaked. Now we sit here. Now I close. Yep. Charging my lasers. Alright. He's pretty messed up already. That was not hard. There we go. Now oh, we still got one laser. Damn. I'll probably do a little bit of damage, but it shouldn't be a problem. Oh, what a jerk. He knows the tactics. Of course I hit my O2. It's just oxygen. Okay. Oh my god, those both missed. Oh, okay. That was close. And by close, I mean to close to taking a tiny amount of damage, which really would have just not had that much of an impact. But whatever, hey, it's a small victory, right? Let's go ahead and get our oxygen working before we leave. I've, uh, I've jumped a few times without repairing all the damage inside my ship, and what can happen is you'll start a fight, and you realize you have 20% oxygen, you're about to die, and then they shoot your oxygen, and you're basically screwed. Okay, so I'm at 143. What am I going to try to do? I'm going to try to get the last seven or so, and uh, maybe I can get some shields soon. Oh. <sighs> These guys have invaded me. They've sent dudes onto my ship, and that sucks. Okay, luckily my mantis has a time to shine here. This is what I'm gonna do. You guys go take care of this. Oh, and they have a drone? This is bad news. Okay, they'll keep them busy here. And of course, the O2's gone again. Now he's launched a missile. Go stealth mode. Okay, this is actually terrible. Here's a trick. Open all doors. Close the ones around the med bay. Go hang out in the med bay. They'll uh, suffocate. Okay, I think this may be the end of the stealth ship, I'll be honest. Yeah, this is not good. Not looking good at all. Oh, jeez. Oh, and of course I forgot my pilot is out there. He's still suffocating to death here, so he's basically screwed. Goodbye. I now have... Okay, well, that's it. 
Uh, Stealth ship has a problem of suddenly taking a nosedive. And there you have it. Stealth ship gameplay has its pretty... I want to say it has highs and lows, but it kind of just has mediums and then lows. Um, I've fought the boss with it before. It's not terrible. Look at that, didn't even place in the top four. It's not terrible, but it's not what I'd recommend as a highly powered ship or anything. I'm hoping to get that Type B sometime soon, try that out. Maybe I'll uh, be able to show that off. And uh, I think that's it for me. Maybe I'll try again later. Uh, if you guys would like, would give, throw me a like on this video uh, down the bottom left there. Let me know that you enjoy this thing and I'll uh, keep making some more. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.